Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Sagittarius, today we'll do your September reading, general reading for all of you. Whatever energy I will pick up, I'll share with you. Either it's love, connections, family energy, work, or even studies. Keep in mind, loves, general messages, general readings may be strongly resonate with you and for many of you might do not. So take it accordingly because you know that whatever I am picking up might be completely your situation, might do not. As well, Sagittarius, we do have on September 2nd just after midnight a full moon and i believe that full moon is in pisces we are going to be in virgo season and yes piscean energy as a full moon which is a little emotional but that makes you know stronger energy also more intuitive what we need to it's a very beneficial month for many of you I definitely see here for some of you there is a change could be a change in your finances it's a huge change because I've been into pre shuffles I got messages regards your family for some of you, you will spend more time in a family or you want to see your family also I see unexpected income for some of you but I feel here for that income you worked hard and definitely a money situation is changing if you felt really like you know down or you feel like things didn't go the way it's supposed to now it's turning to pick it up other thing what i picked up is there's a huge change especially for those of you who let go somebody from your past and it's like a chapter is closed for you that chapter is closed not for the person who you've been dealing so keep in mind somebody might come back in the month of september also sagittarius this reading has an extension the extension all zodiac signs here from aries to the pisces you'll get messages and that extension is in the memberships also, I want to say thank you for all Sagis who are here, who support this channel, who are part of this beautiful family. It is an honor for me to do what I do and to share with you loves. Thank you so much. Also, as always, I am thankful for each of you who are coming for insights from the spirit and messages to you in regard to the situations you are dealing with this morning make my day somebody who i read for her for probably more than a year and getting that feedback message made my day thank you so much but let's hear Sag. what we got for you for september and where are we going to it's kind of it's a month of more getting more organized and as well like more in tune with our feelings our energies and whatever things come to us is don't dwell in that be neutral because many of us definitely i am a sage too and many times i try to show this is right and I think this gotta be this month that not the case you don't need to prove anybody that you want something do you and that will come to you so this month we have here beaver spirit lay a solid foundation there is something new here for some of you whatever what I got here prior to your reading Sag I got that there is a friend of yours who wants to be more than a friend you might ignore that person even that energy but it shows me here that 
you might not see in that person somebody you know to be in the future give it a chance because it shows me here that that person could be the one for you so that could be your foundation your solid foundation here and underneath we have antelope spirit life is speeding up so whatever you felt stuck whatever you felt like oh this doesn't go this way how you know this month definitely it is a month for you to think closely for where you're going what you do community it's kind of do good to others and will come in unexpected ways always always be caring mature woman for some of you you are taking advice for somebody older than you are but for some of you just being around people will get a new sense who you truly are okay and the next card we have bad health for some of you, you you might invest your energy into something here which kind of drain you. Take your time. Because bad health here speaks to me that you mostly have been working or overworking because that's how it is said. Sometimes, you know, it's from an extreme to other that I used to be the same pretty much. So if somebody tells you take care of you and it could be somebody from your family from your community a good friend please listen to them because they want the best for you Sag I'm having the grand look tarot for you for overall energy and let's hear the energy from the grand looks also these are the overall energy for this month Sun and Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus, Science Edge. All right. We have a tower. There is a lot of changes. It's like right away changes, like instant changes. Two of Cups, beautiful. And Seven of Wands. And underneath we have here the Emperor. So look at here, loves. As been said, as been seen prior to your reading. That will come to you, somebody here. Unexpectedly. Two of Cups, Soulmate Energy. For some of you, that person might be the one, the Emperor. And you might put the resistance of this. Whatever change is happening here to you will be kind of unexpected. It's like over the sudden the love comes and you just like, no, 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 this is not for me. This is not good for me. I'm not sure if this works because you feel like I know what I want. I know what I'm looking for. And sometimes, as the spirit always tells me, give it a chance. You never know where you go. Okay? Definitely for some of you, comes love into your life unexpectedly. Might be somebody who you don't feel that is your person or interested in that person. Let's see. For some of you, there is an older person here who is closer to you. Could be immediate family, could be a friend of yours. That person really gives you good advices. So you might follow though, you might not. But I definitely see here as we have the antelope spirit here, the life is speeding up. Definitely it is. Let's see. We have Virgo energy here, but this speaks to me that think closely for what you truly want. Look deep, look deep into your soul, okay? Yes, we are in Virgo energy. 
we have two of pentacles six of cups queen of pentacles two of cups again hierophant taurus energy and king of wands this is you loves high priestess nine of swords and ace of swords be clear for what you want because it's coming I see Taurus Virgo Capricorn Piscean energy following your intuition tower underneath this Virgo energy look at here I feel here I'm talking with a Sag who is very intuitive with the energy or kind of like as it's coming it you sense it especially we are in um, a season where is water and earth blending find the truth within you inside you also as we speak here from the past you could deal here with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn in the past. Strongly Virgo, strongly Taurus energy for me. We have the Tower and as well the High Priestess, Water Sign, Scorpio and Pisces. For some of you it could be another Fire Sign as well. We have less air here. But I definitely see here somebody wants to say the truth. If in the past somebody here was like... I don't know I don't know what to do I don't know if this connection will go I feel here you really love them but for some of you you might not talk with this person for quite a while and even that person asks or comes back you're looking for something stable for some of you Sagittarius, you are aiming for stability and you are not looking for something less. That's why you are fighting for what is yours with this Seven of Wands. Let's see here. You might not see here this person for even two years. I don't see a third party here, loves. I don't see a third party here, but I definitely see here a past person coming up let's see here two of pentacles from them king of swords it's like in the past they were indecisive because they had other plans and probably would been involved other people as well whatever and whoever is this energy here taurus virgo capricorn that person might have air energy libra gemini aquarius why this person wants to come back now for my sages they might moved at one point they are not they are not next to you they are actually at the distance but it's like they they want to make peace with you Six of Cups clarified by Six of Swords and Temperance, your energy Sag. I feel here you in a bigger picture, you, you send them healing towards them. You are not bad to them, you actually been good to them. Even whatever they've been dealing, because they've been dealing with a lot. Also, they, they are looking for healing. Also, Sag. I am a Sag. Sun, Sag. And everything what happens in my life, I try to send blessings. Either you are good, either you don't. It reflects. You know, it's, I'm a true believer. Like, what you give, that's what you get back. So, for many of you, that might be a big sense. And 
also sending that your vibration is getting higher and higher and you send them peace and this person seen that that's why they come back and they come back you know kind of lost here it's kind of like they they made poor choices in the past you kind of trying to move on you are in your space look at you here two of cups hierophant and king of wands here look how great vibration you have here you are in a good vibration i don't feel dumb and i feel here that's kind of like a sage here who instead of opting for revenge or feeling sad and upset or whatever you choose to send them healing and send to your healing and kind of like be good to yourself but as this person comes six, nine of swords it's like your energy is speaking to me that what you are worried right now you're worried about your stability the most important thing for you it's like i i try to move on and i don't want to bother by that again we have tower here you you might even say like you know i knew that that person will come at one point but you didn't know which which time yes they might come in the virgo season this person doesn't need necessary a virgo but clarifying this nine of swords for you we have four of wands we have wheel and we have six of pentacles that's your biggest fear here that you you strongly try to move on with your life and it's kind of the universe give you an opportunity to do that okay and that's you feel like they will bother that stable energy here but look at here the next card here is magician you got this my darlings if you manifest and the universe gave it to you you are in the power to to do and make whatever you feel it's yours and don't go less than that if this person wants to talk to you i don't feel you are fearing any talks or you're not fearing that i gotta say the truth okay i don't feel you are feeling like you know i i don't i don't want to say it if they do regret because they do regret whatever was whatever they had whatever they deal with they probably want to speak it the truth once and for all for some of you sagittarius there is somebody coming to you as a soulmate not necessarily this past person definitely there is some unfinished business from the past if somebody want to talk to you they definitely do want it but i don't feel it's kind of you are kind of like no 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 no. i don't want to talk to you i don't feel you do that let's see here queen of pentacles messages from you please five of swords moon and knight of swords what i feel here this person feel like you know like somebody here is beating you from all the places they gone through a lot 
and whatever they've done, if that they've done because it's it's not on you. It's not that you've been bad to them, but it's kind of like other people been bad to them. So they from from their own perspective they needed to react at that time when you've been around them. And it's kind of they they put a shell here. It's like they it's like a facade. They show a mask at that time because of the fears. It's like could people took advantage of them, could an ex of them. Another thing what I feel here is like things have been fast. Whatever gone between you two could be a fast connection. Like could be just a couple months between you two. And they kind of like was the like self-defense energy. That's how they felt at that time. So you might walk away at that time and you kind of like, you know, I'm not gonna deal with this. Whatever it is. And that's the thing, what I see here, they, they wanna explain at this time. Also, they have been fearing so much to open up. But now I feel here they will. And as well, Sag, we have five of wands, five of cups, and five of swords. The five missing, which is on their way, on their part, is the five of pentacles. Okay, so they they could have that that energy of abandonment. They could be abandoned prior, and they. Whatever they've done, whatever they deal, like they could feel like I'm hands full at that time. So definitely that was kind of a self-defense for them. And I don't feel you, you've been fearing. It's like you, you've done you or whatever it is. Even this person, they, they feel like, like an agony back and forth. So you, Sag, King of Wands here, it's like you, you made your life as it is, but this person didn't ever forgot you. You, you slowly moved on here. Yes, I feel here, if you moved on from somebody here, slowly, could be an earth sign. You moved on towards a water sign. Could be. But I feel here, at one point, you've been heartbroken. That was a heartbreaking here. And somebody here helped you to heal. And look at you now. Nine of Cups. If you really wanted to be in a stable commitment, here is the universe gives you that and the universe blessed you with that so yes loves you put a burden down but I feel here you said you worked hard for it so now yes there is the truth come out there's some honesty here from this person they probably have been fearing you know, whatever they've been done that to open up, to tell you. So their energy is so low vibration, but I feel here your energy lifted way bigger, way upper. So that's why the, the life is speeding up. And I definitely see here for some of you, you might be even upset in the past here. Whatever happened, because whatever happened here, like a tower, all in once, you know? So when it's raining, it's pouring. That's how sometimes happens. That's how it happened to you. But sending love brought you love. So here you are, the emperor at this time. 
you took charge of your life, which that for me is you are in charge of your own life. You take responsibility for your actions and you deal with them. And as well, you know, when there are problems, problems got to be resolved. But yes, took you quite a lot and made you a new person. So here we are, loves. There's something here new you try to do and the fruits are coming. So laying that, that solid energy, that solid foundation, your life will speed up. So, Sag, if you want to continue with me and see messages from who you might deal here, I do invite you to come in the extended. Otherwise, thank you so much for coming in here and in tuning with these energies. Love and light to all of you. It's my pleasure to see you all here. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed month ahead. Bye for now.